All right, hey guys, I'm Rebel CCG back in the video. With this video, I'm bringing in Evil Tile slash Evil Sar slash Evil Zar deck profile. So this is for post Duelist Nexus, and uh, let's get started here. So I run one copy of Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. It's really easy to get out, and you're gonna see once I get to the cards that actually get it out. Here we have Evosaur Elias. So this card is pretty insane, just when it's special summon, being able to special summon a level six or lower dinosaur type monster from your hand is nice. Just being able to use it, get out your reels, and then from there continue to play can always be pretty helpful. Then we have Miscellaneousaurus. This is just a little engine here that you have for the deck to get your ultimate conductor Tyranno. Uh, the way you're using it is by using Rios actually in order to ditch this card. So the nice thing about Miscellaneousaurus is that not only does it enable you to get out a conductor Tyranno, but it also gives you the ability to change your other Evil Tile monsters uh, into a level 4 dinosaur monster, which means that you can actually use them to go into an Evazar. So it's pretty useful. Yeah, I definitely liked including it here. Then the three copies of Rios. This card's really nice as well. Being able to use it in order to set your evil singularity, that's going to be the main thing you're going to be setting here. That's why this is mainly a going first build because you want to be able to get this evil singularity out. There's actually a play where you're able to get three evils or monsters out. It's not the most likely outcome, but you most likely you're just going to get two out. But being able to get three is pretty insane and you're going to see that in the combo video. Uh, but yeah, definitely three copies of the reels, two copies of the volcano. This card again is also pretty good. If you have something, if you have, if you happen to have Rios in your graveyard, you can use Volcano here. If it happens to be special summoned by Nevatar Monster, being able to bring out Rios is pretty nice because not only can you use Rios effect in order to get your Evil Singularity, but you can also exceed with these two. Then we have three copies of Ash Blossom for the Negate, three copies of Evatar Forest. This guy is also really good because he lets you special summon an Evatar monster from your hand or grave. So usually yeah, we have really good targets here. We have the form of Evatar Najasho and we have Evatar uh, Mega Cherella. And the, the nice thing about Forest here is that not only are you able to summon one of these monsters out, but you're also able to set Evil Force down. So being able to set Evil Force is really great because not only do you have to not have to search it out, but you can use Evil Force here in order to, like if you want to tribute Najasho, you can do that and trigger Najasho's effect while also using Evil Force's effect. So just a lot of value that this card provides. Same thing with the Evil Tower Najasho as I kind of covered here. It's just a great monster to tribute with Evil Force. Two copies of the Evil Tower Mega, Mega Trilla. There's actually a one card combo that you can do using this card, which you guys are going to see in the combos video. Then we have one copy of Animador and Archosaur. Again, this is just hard part of the whole package in order to go into the Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Then we have the two copies of Everforest. You could go for the third copy. I think two copies is good enough as you're, you are able to search it out with the forest. And that just has been working for me. One copy of the Triple Tactic Talent. It's just something I decided to put in here. You could totally, this is kind of a flex spot where you could just kind of put what you wish. Uh, definitely play around with the deck and see what you want to change. Then I have, of course, a double evolution pill. Just one copy is all you need. Then we have three copies of Fossil Dig. So Fossil Dig and Evo D Diversity and also Pot of Prosperity. This just makes it makes the deck a lot more consistent being able to search out what you need when you need it definitely has helped a lot especially with pot prosperity since you don't really need a lot of the link monsters here and you have a lot of extra copies that you can get rid of so it's always nice to get rid of using that card called by the grave because you don't want to deal with hand traps three copies of imperm because just a solid hand trap to run and then three copies of evo singularity this card i just like seeing it definitely it's a it's a really strong card and uh, if you if you're going first you want to be able to get this guard down onto the field because during your opponent's turn you're going to be able to get one of your these evils are monsters and of course you know that these evils are monsters are insane and uh, before i go to the extra deck if you guys are enjoying the video make sure to like comment and subscribe we're so close to a thousand subs so i'd really appreciate that and make sure to stay tuned because there is a combos video coming out soon so here for the extra deck we have one copy of zeus because we have so many exceed monsters one copy of soda soda isn't the most powerful evils are I think one copy is enough. It's okay just being able to pop one of your opponent's monsters can be fun, but just a one copy is all you need. Uh, two copies of Ra, so this is the new Evil Czar monster. This card is nice because it's basically an imprint for the deck, and uh, it's pretty powerful just being able to use it two times during your opponent's turn. Get quite a lot of value. Then we have two copies of the Lagia. So Lagia here is uh, very similar to a Solemn. So you can see just based on that fact that it's super powerful. Same thing with Doka. It's a monster negate that destroys, negates and destroys. So, so much value that you can get out of these cards. And they're not hard ones for turns as well. So, uh, Lagia, of course, you're going to be using out of the materials because it requires two materials to use it. But Doka here, having two monster negates, it's super easy to get out. And Raz, even though it requires two level six monsters, you're usually not going to do that. You're just going to be using Evil Singularity in order to get it out. Then we have two copies. I mean, one copy of Baguska in case something goes wrong. Axis Code Talker, Nightmare Unicorn. These just kind of generic link monsters that you can go into. It's possible to get four monsters out on the board. So being able to do that, go into Axis Code Talker could be great. 
And uh, the Nightmare Phoenix, again, just another flex spot. You can kind of play around with this. IP Masquerina could be fun in case you need to have an interaction during your opponent's turn. Then you can do that with Unicorn. And then we have Link Haribo and Secure Gardener. So, of course, it's just the same thing. If you ever play Dinos, you're just going to be going into Animador and Archosaur, go into Link Haribo, then go into Secure, Gar Secure Gardener. And now you can get these two cards onto the field, which are into your grave, which gives you the ability to use Double Evolution Pill. Use these two, banish them, so that you don't touch your Evo Evosar or Evotal monsters because you don't want to touch them, so you can use, uh, use your Evo Singularity. And you're going to see that in the combo video, which shows you some pretty insane combos that you can do using this stack. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.